Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Long Dark, the Nomad Challenge. And we are about to be on our way out. I want to go to Mystery Lake, uh, not Mystery Lake, my bad, to Coastal Highway, where I want to stay at the abandoned lookout, one of the few locations that I remember from, uh, well, my <laughs> previous place. I'm a little bit over encumbered. I guess I could drink a little bit. That should take care of being encumbered, hopefully. Does it? Yes. Just barely under. Maybe we shouldn't be running too much. Is there anything I want to bring along that I don't have right now? I think I'm good. I'm going to leave everything behind. And we're going to be making our way to the coastal highway. I do remember where I have to go. I basically have to go to the north of the map. Basically backtrace. Oh, great. It's a storm. Backtrace everything. And I just realized that I'm not wearing anything. Because I took it off when I was sleeping in the bed so it wouldn't lose condition. But I think I should be wearing it again. Considering how friggin' windy it is outside. Oh, that's... Feels like zero, so we're not freezing. So we have all time in the world to get back. Um, at least it's not foggy. That gives me a chance to see where we're at. Uh, I wonder if I can just, like, make it down the hill here somehow. Very carefully. And then follow a road. At least I get to see something. Okay, here is the bridge. Here's the farm. Is it the farm? Yes, that's that house. Basically, we walked a whole long path. We want to follow this road up north. That's where the connector is. And I wonder if I could... Oh, okay, now I'm, now I'm committed. At least temporarily. I wonder if I... You know what? I could... I, I think I can make it down the hill. If I'm really slow and careful. I can just walk down this hill. No problem. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? He says as he breaks his leg. That sounds so... That sounds so weasel, doesn't it? No, I'm, I'm just crouching along. And, yep, I think we're good. Now, I just can't walk this... Okay, I gotta walk it sideways. Otherwise, I am going to break something. Ooh, is that something that I've never seen before? Possibly. Anyway, we made it down. We're still alive. We didn't break anything, but it is windy. And I'm going to now follow this road as long as I can still see something. Which should eventually bring us to the coastal highway. Oh, I should check the mailbox and see if something's inside. Like, maybe maybe someone sent them a, uh, I don't know, a chocolate bar. That, that'd be a nice surprise. Mailbox. No, rifle cartridge. Okay, if I would find a rifle cartridge in my mailbox, I would be very worried and call the police. That's not a thing you want to find in your mailbox. That's, that's close to a death threat. <laughs> But, doesn't, I don't care. I got I got some extra uh, cartridges, and that allows me to fill up the rifle nearly fully. One one slot left. I might as well hold it. Not making me slower. Nope, it's not. So I might as well hold it. Sounds good to me. Okay. I don't know if we should sit it out on the car. I feel it makes no sense. We're just going to walk up against the wind. Oh, I found a pack of matches. Something in the glove box. Yiff. Energy bar. Orange soda. Eh, that was totally worth it. Let's have a quick look. I'm um, a little bit peckish, so I might as well eat something. Some dark food. Yum, yum, yum. We can just use our hatchet for that. I wonder if we lose any percentage of food. Nope, we're not losing anything, so we don't really need the can opener. That's good. Let's eat the other one as well. Just to get our... Weight below the threshold. We're not taking too much of a hit. Alright, nailed it. And we're gonna keep going. Since it is only four hours of daylight left, I might just run the distance. Ugh, it's so slow against the wind, though. And it's taking a little bit of a toll on the clothing items I'm wearing. Heartbreak Ridge. I wonder why it's called that. I really do wonder. Maybe they will explain that in the upcoming story mode that will eventually come to this game. Oh, wait a second. You know what? Since it's really picking up right now, there's a little hut that I can check out. I... Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's just a shed. There's a deer. I'm not going to kill you, buddy. Not to worry. But there's a dead guy. Hooray. Hooray for dead people. Dead people will... Uh, Tinder block. Don't care. Have enough of that. Soda, on the other hand, I will gladly take... A hatchet in a okayish quality, some firewood. Oh. 
At least it sounds like the storm is, like, going away. It does... Not as loud anymore. Yep. I think we, ca we caught a break, guys. Yay! It is definitely on these long stretches where you have to just cross the whole map without doing a whole lot that you get a real feel for, like, how empty everything is and that there's no one around and how big this game actually uh, is. You gotta, it takes really long to cross Pleasant Valley. Ah, yes, the barn. The memories. Hmm. Ah, and we're back at the point where the... Road splits to the right, and if we follow this, we go back to the radio control. How, where we don't want to go, that's just where we came from. Pretty long path, actually. We're gonna go head straight up. Where are we gonna, well, find four houses? Maybe, maybe even the rural store. I don't know if that is considered the rural store. If so, we can stay there for three days and move on from there. But yeah, I'm starting to get really tired from running or just walking all this way with encumbered gear, uh, being encumbered with my gear. Uh, maybe we can leave something behind. We're more likely going to find stuff on the way. I need coffee. I need, I need just coffee, straight up coffee. All right, ah, oh, this looks really cool during the day. I didn't get to see a whole lot of Pleasant Valley recently just without uh, a snowstorm. So I really think I really appreciate being able to see things during the day, not being snowed in. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can find something in here. Plastic container with nothing. Okay, metal shelves, I don't care about those. I'm not going to break, break down any metal crates. I see planks. Huh. You know what, I'm going to use this thing to light my room. Ooh, orange soda. Some cured leather. Tin of sardines. Mittens. Yeah, we're definitely going to be carrying around too much. I'm not going to break it down right now because I want to be wandering throughout the day. So I'll just take the hit when it comes to being drained. It's just going to take a little bit longer to reach our destination. But other than that, I'm okay with it. Over there, we got the waterfall. This game is really gorgeous. <laughs> it's not snowing and you can't see some things. Okay, this might be the rural store. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Rural store. We might have to stay here for three days. Is, is that it? Is this the place to stay? Rural store. Yes. Okay. I guess we're going to stay at the rural store. This is going to allow us to uh, figure out what we have. Too okay, excellent. I know you have too much stuff to carry. Emergency stem. Neat. We might just shoot a deer or something and then and, and skin it. For now, we have some food with us, which I'm going to eat through. I have plenty of bullets. Decent flea sweater. It's just decent. It's ugly. It's ugly as sin because it's like a winter sweater that your grandmother made you, but... One liter of water. Um, ooh, painkillers. And some granola bars. Soda. Yeah, we're not going to... We're going we're gonna to be hungry. For the next few days, which is great. More chocolate bars. It's helpful that the locations I have to stay at have food. Not enough necessarily for several days. Register. Okay. I didn't assume to find anything in there. I didn't think I would find anything. Okay. Orange soda, orange soda. Thing up in the upper shelves. Nope. Jerky. Man. Gotta love the store. It is great. It is a great location. Okay, so water purification tablets. We don't need that many, honestly. So I might as well drop those. Next time I find tools, I want to repair my lantern because it's not in a really good state anymore. Oh, that's a water bottle. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I saw you. You can't hide from me. Okay. So I dropped my heaviest equipment. I think we're still encumbered because we're tired. Yeah, not, not, not surprised. That's okay. Ah, uh, jeez. Look at all these sewing kits. I'm pretty sure I can drop a few of those. I don't need that many. Same with the rifle cleaning kit. One will do us just fine. And we're gonna take camp here for a while. Let's have a quick look at our uh, food selection. Yeah, we, we got plenty of it. I am considering going out and hunting down a deer. Since we're gonna stay here for a few days, we might as well take care of some food. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. 
Uh, the creaking sound makes me nervous. Really nervous. Okay, let's see. If there's a deer close by, I will take the opportunity and kill it. But if I can't find one of them nearby, I might just skip that. Of course you do. Of course you do. The question is, where is... Hmm. I don't see anything around. Damn it. That one time. We can go out tomorrow. Or if we need it. I'm just going to eat through my reserves. Which allows me to uh, be more mobile and not being encumbered because we have so much. And now we're just going to rest. Okay, we, we're fully rested, but I decided that I'm just going to pass time by just sitting on my bedroll. And you can see the water is slowly going down. It's slower than resting. Um, uh, slower Passing time is slower than actually sleeping. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take a condition hit now. And I'm totally willing to take that. Um, I can be dehydrated for way longer and can just sit it out. Uh, and then eventually, once my calories run out, eat something and uh, just sleep again to bring that condition up. So uh, we actually need less food than we would need otherwise if we would always try to. Water. Yeah, I, I know you do. Considering that I have so many, I might as well drink all of it. But there's no reason for us to always keep us well fed. Just pass another 12 hours and just wait for me to get tired or hungry. I also might want to take off those clothing items if we don't need them. Because they're going to wear down otherwise. Feels like minus four. Okay, maybe I have to wear a few items. Feels like zero. Um, might as well put on some mittens. Or actually, let's put on the socks. Let's harvest those mittens for some extra cloth. So I haven't eaten anything in, I think, over 36 hours at this point, or 30 hours at this point. And I'm probably not going to eat anything for the next 24. Even though I'm taking a condition hit, I'm going to sleep and I'm going to ramp it up again. It's a little bit like meditation or I'm hibernating. Yeah, let's call it hibernating. I think that makes sense. This just goes to show this kind of needs a mechanic of... Uh, losing your mind. If you would stay cooped up for that long, you would slowly but steadily go crazy. This would be really taking a big toll on you. Of course, before we sleep, we definitely want to eat something. And we finished up Royal Store. We stayed here for three days. It's surprisingly fast, but of course, thanks to the magic of editing, you didn't have to sit around all the time. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna be picking up some stuff. I'm a little bit parched and hungry. That's understandable. I'm just gonna drink sodas. That's uh, my diet for the next uh, days, I assume. Just drinking all the sodas. Free up some inventory space and then take whatever we can. Wish there were energy drinks in there that would also give you energy. I think that's not too unreasonable of an idea. Uh, so I'm gonna have to eat something. Sure, let's have some stale beef jerky. Mmm, my favorite. Okay, I think we're fairly well fed. Fairly well fed. I'll be picking up my hatchet and the pry bar. And my sleeping bag. Which I'm going to have to repair. We're a little bit encumbered. Not too much. I just want to see. Can I maybe drop something? I can drink something, definitely. But I just wonder if there's something that I can drop that I need. I don't need two fire starters. I... Mm, do I really need the arrows? Not really. I, I do have plenty plenty of bullets so if we ever need arrows we know where to find them currently there's a storm outside which is okay but i want to be heading towards the mine because that's gonna be the next stop oh yeah it's it's not a good weather got a few more houses to check out over there i guess i'm just gonna have a quick look there and loot them for their food value or any kind of food they have in there Maybe even some clothing. I guess that makes it worth it. I see one house. Oh, and I see a bear. Cool. Um, I guess I'll go over there. Check out this house first. And just completely ignore this huge giant predator that wants to eat me. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah, I, I hear him. He's angry. He's hungry and angry. He's hangry. That's the worst combination of them all. Okay, so let's go and loot this place and see what we have. We'll have to sort out afterwards again. But luckily it's still daytime. So even though it's really murky outside. Ooh, lantern fuel. That's good. Even though it's really murky out, 
we still get to enjoy some light inside. New pinnacle peaches, the fridge holds some meat. No, no meat. Meat is great. Oh, gamey rabbit raw. Uh, gamey. Cook to eat safely. Hmm. Eh, I don't need it. I, I don't need it. I'm not going to be making a fire anytime soon. I think that's just gonna slow me down. And since I have to cook, I might have to drop some gear. You know what? I could just straight up eat it raw. Um, and just sit it out at a place. Yeah, you might have to drop a gear or two, some gear. A gear. I'm gonna drop one gear. Okay, this oven holds something. No, nothing. Nobody shoved his head in. We looked for these. Okay. I think we nearly got the bedroom. Please some good good clothing items. What are what new mittens? Hey. Okay. I'll take them. I wonder if one of the locations is actually on top of Timberwolf Mountain or something. That's gonna make things a little bit more tricky. Worn wolf scarf. Wolf. Yes, a wolf scarf. Oh, decent cargo pants. All the cool stuff. Take some soda. Cabinet. Who has left you open? In the shower. I'm not gonna loot the toilet. I got plenty of water. Loot the toilet. Rate the toilet. Let's uh, you rate the toilet after you had that burrito. Well, and that concludes it for this house. Do I want to drop some things? I mean, I want to refill my lantern that I'm currently using. That would make sense. But yeah, we're definitely carrying around too much stuff. Mostly items. I don't even see the reason. Oh, decent fleece sweater. Why was I not? Oh, I was not wearing anything. I totally forgot that. <laughs> I was not wearing anything. S -s smart, smart moves. Smart moves there. Just walking out naked outside. That That's a good time. <laughs> good job, Weasel. You totally forgot to put those back on. But other than that, we're done with the house, so we're going over. Let's hope that the bear isn't close. I would like to avoid an altercation with said creature. Okay. It is wind. There he is! Na 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 na. <laughs> I'm the worst. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Think you're, think you're hot shit there. Maybe I'm gonna stay for the night in one of these huts and gonna continue uh, the next day. Because I feel going out right now. Oh! This is like one of these. Abandoned houses. Okay, painkillers. I'll take those. Emergency stim. Good times. More leather. I'm gonna have to repair my boots. I'm so gonna have to repair my boots. Much cloth as well. I'm gonna repair that scarf. Ah, damn it. It's too dark. Well, might as well spend some quality time on the floor with my sleeping bag bedroll. And we have 10 hours of daylight left, so... Let's rest it up. Okay, now it is bright enough for us to repair some items. Which I'm going to do. And my boots are still at 100%, so no reason to repair those. But let's go ahead and repair our bedroll. And I think that concludes it for this episode of the Long Dark Nomad Challenge. Uh, we're going to be making our way, I think, now to the Coastal Highway because... Uh, three locations are probably all of them. We're gonna see where Skeeter's Ridge is. I'm not entirely sure if that is here in Pleasant Valley. If it is, we're gonna stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna be heading <clears throat> towards Coastal Highway to do the Quonset gas station in the abandoned lookout. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bound, 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 bound,